Here it is. Oh! I've been sent the Peak Design Travel Tripod. Anyway, I'm gonna save you the time. I'm not gonna go through the specs and what it is. I'm basically gonna do a bit of a, an unboxing overview um, and just show you guys what it's all about, really. Straight away, look at the size of it. Look at the size, it's tiny, it's tiny. I mean, you compare this to... This is a Benro. This is Benro's version and uh, I mean, what is this? This is a Benro iPhoto 28C carbon. So maybe a bit lighter than the Peak Design, but honestly, not much different. Definitely feels a lot more compact as a Peak Design one anyway, but I mean, size difference. Woo, woo. I know which I want. I mean, okay, so let's have a look. Let's check this out. So very snug, very, very snug. It's got a little handle. Two little handles there, I assume that's for something else as well. And a tight weather seal zip. Uh -huh. like, I can almost get my hand all the way around it. So what have we got? What have we got? Fun now. Aha! Ah, oh, come on, look. Look at how can you not like that? If you listen to focus, you just pull this, twist, and then you lose the end. Maybe a design flaw there. Oh, I like it. I like it, actually. Phone mount comes out in one. Nice, like it. Okay, little teeth on the edge. Samsung Note 9. I mean, yeah, I mean, it holds it. Solid, actually, solid as a rock. This has got a few nice little features in here, so that should. Oh. So to get that back in, you better just hold in the hook and then push and swivel click and uh, no. Okay, so there's a lock ring. Oh, I like it, I like that. This is, whoa. Guys, I mean, I know it's a lot of money for a tripod, but come on. Let's see how quick you can actually extend everything. Oh! Gotta do that again. Yes, sold. I'm gonna buy one just on that, I think. So they've designed them so that when you're trying to lock all three, you're literally just locked. It is solid, not gonna lie, it's absolutely. Oh, okay, so the legs don't lock tight, tight. No, never mind, they're adjustable. All right, so well built, nice and sturdy. It doesn't flex, I mean, it doesn't flex as much as you would expect. Now, I would imagine it's to do with the shape of the legs. Not totally round, they've kind of got this angular angular kind of frame um, yeah so the cylindrical design that they don't have saves a lot of weight I mean you can see I mean anybody that's seen the video you'll know what I'm talking about but they have you know in a way four kind of tubes to go off they all don't really collapse in there was kind of gap down there which you don't have with these well okay you do but it's tiny man it's so thin you get this little tiny allen key well engineered, big design kind of branding logo all over it. So the height of the, the centre column is controlled by this little knob. I mean, and even a little, look at this, nice little magnetic. You see the bottom of the head has got this kind of concave one going on, so it all just slots in nicely when you don't want to use it. Okay, so if you unscrew this, this whole column comes out. How do you get into... One is reading the manual. So the, the way you the way you take this off is at the very top. Only oh, you're only just able to get to it, and you can just about see there. You've got a stick and Allen key in, um, and then that will remove all of it basically. So then you have the low, ultra low profile mode. You don't have the stock sticking out the bottom. Okay, so it locks with this kind of ring going around here. So you just unscrew that, and the whole thing is 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 totally free. Um, I mean, I'm not gonna lie, guys. I'm struggling to find anything that's wrong with it. This isn't, this isn't like any other tripod. It's gonna take a little bit of getting used to, as you can see here. If anybody's got the anchor points um, that you might use for the straps, people see them on the on the kind of the cameras and little red and black points. So that will connect to the bottom of here. So you've got a little anchor point there at the bottom, and then you've got another anchor point there just in the middle. Um, so you can connect a strap to it and use it that way as well. You get a little kind of side sleeve thing for your Allen keys. Just, just connects onto the inside of the leg. Neat. Let's put a camera on it. 
Olympus zm one x the biggest camera Olympus do at the moment uh, with the 300mm, which is also the biggest lens that Olympus do, the biggest kit that you can get from Olympus. Unlock it first. Ha! Stick it on. <laughs> okay, yeah. It does the job, it's solid. Not much wobbling around going at all, really. I mean, I don't know the weight of this Olympus off the top of my head, um, but I'll put it on screen just here. And, uh, you know, and it's holding it at full extension. You've got to remember this is a travel tripod. It's nice, it's lightweight, it's tiny as you've just seen when it's folded down. This would suit most everyday things, I would say. What I have noticed is there's no kind of foam rubbery sheath. For people that are not necessarily into landscapes, you're probably wondering what that matters, but when you're out there and you've got cold fingers, and you're trying to carry the camera, or try to carry the camera and the tripod around. Now let me just show you what I'm talking about. Nice foam rubbery thing, just allows you to hold it a bit nicer. It means the tripod isn't absolutely stone dead cold when you try and pick it up. So yeah, don't get me wrong, this isn't a tripod that will cater for everybody's needs. But I think given how small this is and how neat it is, I mean, come on. You couldn't ever not take a tripod around with you if this if this was your tripod. Um, I've got the, the Benro carbon fibers. I'm currently running on an Anfrotto B3 up there as well. I've got a Vanguard one carbon fiber. And this is just the nicest little neatest package, especially with camping, going out in camper vans, all that type of thing. Even the little case is neat. You know, the case takes up no room. If anybody's seen the tripod cases, the big bulky ones. Yes, I'm looking at you, Vanguard. You know, they're, even the cases themselves are horrendous. And this. I mean, it's snug, but I like it because there's no dead, wasted space. I mean, even the box that it comes in, they've just nailed it. And it's not overpriced. It's not overpriced. When you consider people spend a thousand pounds on just a tripod, and maybe a thousand pounds on a head themselves, you know, this is a nice, it's a nice package. It does the job. The whole thing is just over one and a half kilos. Just over a foot. If you're out in the field and you're wondering whether to get one, and you know, you're watching this video because you're probably intrigued. I mean, even I don't need a tripod, to be fair. Don't need one, I wasn't gonna buy one. When I got sent this, I was thinking, ooh, that'd be nice to see, I'll do a YouTube video on it for you guys out there. I think once this uh, leaves my grasp, I'm gonna end up holding one myself, I think. Maybe a carbon fiber though, we'll see. We'll see. So if you've got a tripod already that does the job that you need, uh, maybe don't get it, it's a lot of money to just shell out, but if you are looking at even remotely needing or wanting to get a tripod, I would definitely recommend it. You will not regret it. Thank you for watching this video, guys. If you are interested in tech gadgets and video editing and video production, all that type of thing, please subscribe. If you like the video, show us a thumbs up. Um, hit that notifications bell so you get notified next time I release another video. But yeah. Thanks for watching. My name's Lou, and I'll see you on the next one.